to my channel i'm sorry i've been gone for like a really hot minute um but i'm back finally and i'm here i'm going to be revamping my channel so i've hit a lot of my old videos but if you've been an uh, og subscriber please stick around if you're new here like this video give it a thumbs up comment subscribe if you like what i end up sharing with you um and yeah let's get started so i haven't had any food for the past 24 hours and you know what I feel great. <laughs> I actually feel amazing. Um, like I've been, like I've been on and off fasting for a really long time. Um, but literally for the past six months, I just have been eating like, I've been eating like crazy. I don't want to curse. I've been eating like crazy. I've just been eating whatever and whenever, and it's just gotten out of hand. Like I don't even recognize myself. I don't recognize my body, and I'm tired of it. Summer is coming, and I'm a summer baby, y'all. So once the summer starts coming, once I plan my first trip. Uh, that's when I know I really got to get it together. That's when I know like things got to change. I need to rediscover my waist and everything. So that's what I'm on. I'm on a new, you know, a new me, new journey, new summer, new turn up, new whatever. But yeah, so I did want to mention just as like a disclaimer, guys, I just wanted to mention that you did not click on my channel thinking that this was going to be helpful because this is not a lifestyle change this is not like a long-term solution losing this much weight in one day is not like something that you know you should be trying to do to lose all the weight you have to lose this is just something that it's evidence-based that can be healthy for you like to utilize as like a tool so for example you have a toolbox you have different tools you have a hammer you have a screwdriver you have like a wrench so you know you can't just always use a wrench you can't you can't do it it's not sustainable sometimes you need a hammer so you know you definitely need to make like lifestyle changes and i think fasting is something great that you can incorporate but definitely check with your doctor you know I, and especially if you suffer from like any type of eating disorder please please don't do anything that's going to trigger you or make you go down um a line of something that's not healthy for you now that I've gotten that out of the way, I just wanted to let you know that basically I've been fasting for the past 24 hours and I've lost about six pounds. I'm going to show, insert clips of me um, weighing in before um, and at the very end, I'm gonna show clips of me afterwards. out in i'm gonna um let you guys know afterwards how long i end up working out i have like a little belt on um just like a sweat belt on i didn't put any like albaline or anything vaseline or anything on it just because it's hot today so i'm not trying to do the most but yeah we'll see how this goes So I just finished my workout. I worked out for about an hour um, and the gym closes early now, which sucks, but I'm just gonna do like a couple rounds in the parking lot just to get some walking in. I'm wearing a little waist belt, a uh, sweat belt right now. Um, yeah, I'm feeling really good. So I'm just gonna walk for a bit more before I go home. So yeah, so that was my starting weight. Embarrassing as hell. Super damn embarrassing, painful. You know, yeah, but it is what it is. And even though I usually don't like weighing myself, I just had to like give myself a starting point and know that, okay, no more. You need to do something about this. And so that's what I'm doing, something about it. Um, so what I did for the past 24 hours basically is I didn't eat. I drank a lot of fluids, a lot of water. Um, I had green tea, green tea and lemon. Um, I did work out. So I worked out for about an hour, over an hour. And then when I came home, I did some like um, YouTube so I worked out for an hour at the gym. Then when I came home, I did uh, some YouTube videos helped me like walk in place and walk around the house just to get to my goal of 15,000 steps. I actually ended up doing 20,000 steps um, that day, which was great. And I was really proud of myself just to kind of like keep me active. Um, and yeah, and then later in the evening, um, I did a saltwater flush, which like, it TMI, but like most of what was coming out was kind of liquidy because I had already fasted for the whole day um, before I decided to do it. But yeah, I used about like three, 
three teaspoons like <laughs> um in like warm water and i drank that and it's been helping flush my system i think there's still a little bit that needs to keep being flushed but yeah so that's how i lost the six pounds basically i um i fasted i drank a lot of water drank some lime and lemon um in my tea i worked out for about an hour and then i made sure i hit 5 15,000 15, to 20,000 steps and that's how i was able to lose my weight well lose my water weight slash let the pounds go down um and i was also able to lose three inches on my stomach um so on my waistline so i'll include all those pictures all those videos of the before and after you should have seen the before already but i'll definitely include the after so the about to drink my salt water to do my flush i am dreading this so damn much but i'm going to do it anyways like the salt water here um and then some regular water to like help me get through it um yeah this is not gonna be fun but hopefully i'm able to finish it I will finish it, but let me show you how my water is full. It's like pretty full. And I had like three teaspoons, though they were like middle between teaspoon and tablespoon size foods. But yeah, you get the point. Let's get it started. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel, take it from my hand, cause I can't do this on my own. Lord have mercy on me. there y'all life is hard beauty not beauty because we're beautiful at any size but getting a snatch waist is not easy don't let them fool you don't let them lie to you because it's not true let me finish drinking my drink oh wow guys there are eight reasons why you should consider intermittent fasting the first reason and sorry if i look down i have some notes the first reason is that uh intermittent fasting can help reduce your blood sugar levels so this is especially helpful for those with type 2 diabetes or who are pre-diabetic there have been studies that show that intermittent fasting um for at least 12 hours a day over the course of a month can decrease your blood sugar levels and this is huge like Diabetes is something that's really um, affecting our population. And so if there's something that we can do to help keep our blood sugar in check, that's definitely something worth considering. The next thing that I wanted to discuss, or the next reason why intermittent fasting is beneficial is that it helps you promote better health by fighting inflammation. So inflammation is associated with many chronic disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis, uh, such as heart disease. So many different things um, can cause inflammation in the body. Um, and that can lead to you feeling sick and you not having the um, the best well-being. And so studies have shown that over a period of three to four weeks that uh, patients who intermittent fasted for um, either alternate alternate day fasting or just a 16-8 protocol of intermittent fasting saw decreased levels of inflammation in their body uh, by testing different infl inflammatory markers. The next thing is that um, fasting helps your heart health. So it helps decrease your blood pressure, decrease your triglycerides and your cholesterol. And so that's huge. There's so many people who struggle with cholesterol or are on medications for it. And I'm not saying stop your medications, but definitely talk to your doctor about um, how fasting can help you. And if you're just someone who wants to prevent getting to the point where you have to be on that kind of medication, think about fasting. 
The fourth thing that intermittent fasting is good for is that intermittent fasting is good to boost your brain levels and your uh, neurological health. So there have been studies in rats that have shown that um, rats who have um, who they put on a fasting regimen actually have decreased levels of neurodegeneration and brain issues. So literally fasting can make you smarter. It can make you have a better brain health for longer. And that's a huge plus in my book at least. The fifth thing is that of course, weight loss. So weight loss is a huge benefit for fasting and I've used fasting so much in my life for weight loss, but those are still like cleanse and detox or whatever. But the weight loss benefits are pretty huge because you know, I have tried doing other ways of losing weight and it definitely takes longer. Though lifestyle changes are important. Um, there's no easy way to like lose weight, um, but I definitely think incorporating fasting um, into my lifestyle helps me achieve my goals much quicker. And Actually, studies have shown that by intermittent fasting, you can actually increase and boost your metabolism. You know, the more you know. <laughs> so number six, you can increase growth hormone secretion. So uh, so people who are big on uh, lifting weights um, and gaining muscle, they've shown that um, when people actually fast, the level of growth hormone released is increased, and that is directly correlated with the an increased ability to build muscle. So my brother is actually a bodybuilder, and whenever he's preparing for a show, he always incorporates intermittent fasting, and that helps him actually gain more, put on more muscle mass. So, and then number seven is number seven, y'all. Like literally, if everything I've said up till now hasn't caused you to be like. Mm, Mm, sounds interesting sounds good like y'all need to sit tight for number seven so number seven is that fasting can help delay aging y'all y'all if you hadn't sold me by now you would have sold me because me i'm trying to drink from the fountain of youth and if fasting can help me um stay youthful longer i'm here for it you know fasting helps with the regeneration of cells and that's what helps keep your skin tight glowing that's what helps keep your organs functioning to the utmost capacity so y'all don't sleep on fasting studies have shown in um rats that the rats that underwent uh, intermittent fasting protocol actually um lived for 83 percent longer than the other mice okay you know so like those numbers aren't going to like directly correlate to like human um life but even that little bit of evidence for me is enough to be like this might be something that i want to consider doing you know in addition to all the other benefits that we've talked about and the last thing which is a huge thing is that there have been scientific studies that have shown that those who intermittent fast along with chemotherapy those with cancer actually have better outcomes when they intermittent fast in addition to uh, doing chemotherapy. So not only does it um, help when you already have cancer, but it also helps prevent cancer. And so y'all, what are you doing? Like for real, what are you doing with your life right now? Like I need y'all to incorporate fasting into your lifestyle. Like it doesn't have to be a 24 hour fast like mine. It could be a 12 hour, a 16 hour fast, but y'all, you need to get your life and get it together. But yeah, so now I'm going to show you guys my results, of course, what we've all been waiting for. Um, this is the last time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be speaking to you. So if you like this video, definitely thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy.